Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. Well, we are at the RTR 2018 and uh, out here looking at all these neat, pretty rigs. Well, today at the RTR, um, I saw an RV that's kind of uh, kind of rare in North America, uh, and I've owned one, and it's the Bigfoot. The Bigfoot is one of the best built, best insulated RVs on the market, that, uh, in my opinion, that's built. And uh, while here, there's actually two Bigfoots here, but I, I ran into uh, Mr. Paul here. Hello. Hi, and his wife, Miss Charlene. Hello. <laughs> and they're from Oregon, and uh, they picked up this Bigfoot uh, not too long ago. And uh, I walked up to him. I said, "Hey, Mister," I said, "I sure would like to see this Bigfoot of yours. Would Would you mind if we took a look at it?" He said, "Sure. Come on over." So. I'll give you a tour of the Bigfoot and Mr. Paul and Ms. Charlene will tell us a little bit about it as we look at it. Can't believe it. You, you know, uh, out on the road I might see two of these per year. So uh, let's, let me show you. This isn't an RV. This is a coach. I'm going to pan back and let you see the outside of this Bigfoot here. Now my, if you remember mine, mine was a 29 30 footer. And up underneath my queen bed, I had a hatch where I could actually pull a, a motorcycle or a golf cart underneath. But this is a little bit shorter. This is a 2004 model. And the model number is a what, Mr. Paul? And what that means, it's got the kitchen to the back. Let me tell you a little bit about a Bigfoot. A Bigfoot has R12. Get this, I'm going to say it again. R12 in the sidewalls and the floor. It has R16 in the ceiling. Incredible R values. And not only that, these thermopane windows, and his actually are factory tinted, Dual thermal panes, so they have argon glass sealed in between, and they're if they're not, they're at least a, a half inch thick. What does R12 and R16 mean to you? Well, it means that this RV, if you can keep propane in the tank and you can keep the fan running, you can withstand minus 30 Fahrenheit. Now to get something comparable with that, you've got to go to like maybe an Arctic Fox uh, travel trailer. But other than that, I don't know of any Class C that's capable of doing that. Now Bigfoot produced their Class C's, I'm going to uh, guesstimate, from about 96 to 2007 or 8. The crash, uh, the economic crash of 08, they... Uh, they had to reorganize their company and they decided to go back to making truck campers and towables. So it just made these even more rare. Not only that, they put all of their uh, Class C's on E450 chassis, which is the Super Duty chassis, the step up from the E350. Uh, Mr. Paul, you've got the V10 in here. The Triton 6.8 V10. Yes, sir. I'm a big fan of that engine. Excellent motor, modular motor bulletproof if you take care of them. Yep, yep. They drive it at 63 miles per hour at about 2200 RPM on overdrive. It runs great. And you're right, about 10 per gallon. 10 miles per gallon. Uh, the V10 doesn't seem to care whether it's in a 21 footer like mine or a 30 footer. All probably the same. You probably could tow a car, same deal, mm -hmm. same mileage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get down to, I lose a mile per gallon when I tow my Geo Tracker with my V10. Oh, do you? Yep. Okay. But, I have a little uh, Chevrolet Metro, Geo Metro, basically, and 
Mm -hmm. We haven't towed it yet. I used to tow it behind another RV we used to have, and it tows great. All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around this thing, and we're gonna come back, and maybe if you be nice enough to show us the inside. Oh sure. Tremendous amount of storage underneath. They have a high floor deck, so you get a basement under. A true basement. A true basement. And that's one reason the tanks are so hard to freeze. Your your black water and your gray water and your fresh water all is, is all heat. enclosed and heated. Yeah, all, the, all the, the heat vent hoses go right down into the compartments and keep them warm. In my unit, uh, it had a system that took the heat from the cooling system. This does too. And it comes back and it has a separate fan system. So going down the road, it heats your water and it heats the inside of the RV. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. See how the corners are made? Very, very hard to leak. And they're just ex extraordinary. You walk inside of one and you, the, it's just uh, ex extraordinarily quiet right away. Now mine didn't have a slide, but if you maintain your slide and take care of it, stay on top of it, shouldn't give you any problems. I'd prefer not to have a slide, but if I were out shopping for one of these, I wouldn't let it stop me. Now these, um, mine had an air ride suspension that came with mine, but this one... This has got the leaf springs, but I've got bags, so you've got it, basically air, air over mechanical suspension. So you added that to it? It came that way. Okay. The people that we purchased from, but they, I think they ordered it that way. All right, all right. And yeah. then it's got a little compressor underneath. and You got the controls master, under the dash? Master control. You can sit there and puff it up. And my first time in here, I didn't let air out. And I went, ooh. Kind of bouncy. I dropped it to about 30 pounds to come in here. It was much nicer. My BT Cruiser is, is, has a lot of uh, noises on the inside when I drive. But the my Bigfoot was just so quiet. You yeah. couldn't even hear the engine running. You couldn't hear anything outside. Very, very little noise, right. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's the difference between an RV and a coach. Oh, yeah. Everybody asked me, I said, Kevin, why did you sell your Bigfoot in the first place? Well, it was a 98 model, and mine had 85,000 miles on it. And I thought at the time that I was going to have to take my contracting business with me, and I was going to pull a trailer. So the 30-foot of my RV and the combined length of an additional 20-foot trailer, it was just too much. So my idea was to go to a 21-footer, and pull the trailer and it wouldn't be so long after i did that i decided not to pull the trailer at all so that's everybody asked me what well, kevin what happened to your bigfoot that's what happened to it i don't regret buying the bt cruiser but i do miss my bigfoot so miss charlene uh he, he takes care of the motor and the outside my guess you're you're the inside guru decorator yeah actually we both are we're, we're share that we try to share that awesome awesome yeah. Do you, you mind if I come inside and... Please help yourself. I'll three All right. Thank you. Thank you. Go first. Go ahead. Well, the slide sure does add a lot of room in here. Let me get the camera to adjust. Now, if I were going to purchase one, if I were looking for one, I believe that I would go I'd like the, the rear queen. I've never seen this setup before, uh, but I do like it a lot. Um, all the cabinets are extraordinary high quality. Uh, like I said, we've got the, the heavy duty insulation. It's just so much quieter in here. I'm six foot, uh, I'm six foot four or five and with a hat, my head is just touching the ceiling. So with, without shoes or without a hat, I'd fit fine. Look at all the room you've got in here. You get more countertop in this particular model than most. Absolutely. No wasted room. Then you get you've got your Dometic mm -hmm. refrigerator freezer. It's it's a nice size. You got your fantastic fan. Yeah. Stove, a microwave. Now one of my favorite things, uh, Mr. Paul, about my RV was the bathtub. The bathtub is a a fiberglass tub like residential. Open the door, you'll see one in this. There's your lights. Yeah, there you go. Okay. 
And like everybody else, uh, we all use our tubs and showers for our laundry. That's right. But look here. That's not cheap plastic. And it's built as good as any residential sh tub shower. Yeah. I, 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 that was my favorite thing of mine yeah. in my RV. Very well built. There's nothing in here that feels cheap. When you or, turn the fan on to use the, the fan in the bathroom, it draws the air from right under here and mm -hmm. comes right up. It's kind of interesting how all that works. It's not drawing under the door. Nice and everything, everything feels solid. Oh yeah. And this is very well taken care of. I, I can tell this is a, a factory original carpet. It is. And uh, you say you found this unit in Oregon? We found it in Washington up near Olympia. Yeah. Okay, you found it on Craigslist or Craigslist. Yeah. All right. And he, he does have it does have a few miles on it, but it's in extraordinary condition. It's pretty good. It's it's got life use. You know, the people traveled all 44 or 48 states. They told us, including Alaska. So this. A lot of RVs don't survive Alaska, let That's alone right. <laughs> look yeah. this good afterwards. <clears throat> yeah. The only thing I noticed, it had a big rock chip in the windshield. I had it repaired, and it's good enough. And Right? Yeah. So. Any troubles with your slide? I had issues with it when we first got it because I had to replace batteries. The mm -hmm. voltage was low, but it blinks a code. And I went to an RV tech and brought him the paper and he said, look, right here. And we put new batteries in. It seems to work pretty good now. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And their, their furniture is really high quality as well. It's pretty good. Where do you and the missus sleep? Do y'all y'all get up here in the, the top? We she doesn't care for the upper. Sometimes she sleeps here because mm -hmm. she just doesn't like. She, it's like sleeping in an MRI machine to her. I understand. Yeah. And you're kind of a tall guy like me, and this is a little it's, bit small. It's too small. I have to go diagonally, and it works for us. We're mm -hmm. we, we we're, we're into. We've got a routine for shifting around. Good deal. I uh, I miss having this curtain in mine. Oh yeah. That's handy. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice how it works out. Good cover for that. And of course this folds up so if you wanted easier access to the driver's seat in and out you could do that if you wasn't using the bunk so much. Right, right, you can. Yeah. I typically go around, sometimes she comes through, but by the time I pull over I want to get out and walk anyway, so it's okay. That works. And then up in here we've got the pleated skylight uh, closure, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. like that, magnetic. Yep, very nice. No stains on the ceiling, no no water damage that I see. It's pretty good, and yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Big. I like your wardrobe here, Mr. Paul. Yeah, look at this. Mm -hmm. You can you can actually, I mean, it's as good as being in a in a little apartment house or something. All right, this is her clothes. Where does she make you put yours? Well, I get one, two, three, four spots. You get four spots. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yep. And then I keep a duffel bag with miscellaneous and a couple, a couple little lockers here. And of course, women get the the, the majority. Well, and that's all. That's good. what they, that's what we get for putting up with us. Yeah, that's a small that's price it. to pay to have small good company when we travel. Pay. Yeah, got to got to keep the missus happy. That's right. And then just I keep tools, some tools inside, and then underneath in the lockers, I've got stuff. I carry a twenty-ton jack and a big old lithium rattle gun i could break it down and repair it if i have to tires Good deal. don't Good want deal. to but i can if you must oh yeah i took um i had uh, last year i had a a rock get stuck between my dualies oh yeah that'll do it and i've never had that happen and i had to take one wheel off in the desert and that was no fun i did that by hand Ooh, yeah. yeah yeah next time uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna call good sam's like i should have in the first place oh yeah yeah <laughs> Yep, looks good and comfy. We got another fantastic fan right here. Right, up up there, one in the bath, one in the kitchen. You can you can set it up to where you can push air in here and draw out on that end if you want. It's the mm -hmm. moderate air conditioning system for a you know a 75 degree day or something. Now you could have purchased any RV that you wanted, but you had a friend that had a big foot and it sold you on it. And you're you're real happy that you got it. And oh yeah, we love it. They he's an architectural designer. He builds houses, mm -hmm. and he did a lot of research on space, what these do, what they have. And he said to get a comparable 
unit, you'd have to go to about a 31 foot class A. Mm -hmm. And so there are heroes, Paul and Gene. <laughs> Well, Mr. Paul, I can't thank you enough for letting us see your RV. Oh, sure. It's very impressive. It's at the very top of my wish list. If it had a rear queen sitting back there in the back and didn't have a slide, we'd have to be here uh, bartering and arguing over how much I'm going to have to pay you for it. Okay. And I like this one a lot, though. <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah. You're going to have to go look at the other one. It's the one you want. It's the model with the bed. Yep, yep. There's... A, there's Oddly enough, there are two Bigfoots in uh, Quartzsite at the same time, so I might have to go take a look. Wow, what a treat. It's not every day you get to see a, a coach this nice. <clears throat> and notice I didn't say RV. I said coach. My BT Cruiser, that's just a cookie cutter RV. These big, Bigfoots, much, much higher quality. But uh, Mr. Paul, Miss Charlene, Thank you so much for giving us a tour. Oh, Let's take a look. Yeah, we, gonna, en we enjoyed giving it to you all. I'm going to do the elbow bump because I, I still might have that flu and don't want to give my new friends the cold. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Charlene. Yes, thank you for coming. All right. Not every day you get to see one of these. Okay. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>